Hi, let us have a quick overview on Kiali Web UI and how to make use of the features available within the Kiali. For better understanding purpose, I am going to create another namespace by enabling the Istio. Let me go ahead and create a new namespace. Let me list the namespaces available. So these are all the namespaces available. And these are all the labels attached to the namespace. Default is already enabled with the Istio. Let me go ahead and create a new namespace called with Istio. kubectl create namespace with Istio. Let me go ahead and describe this namespace with Istio. It doesn't have any label attached to it. For the Istio to work for this particular namespace, I need to add the label Istio injection equal to enabled. Let me go ahead and add the label Istio injection equal to enabled for the namespace with Istio. Now let me go ahead and describe the namespace. I do have the label Istio injection equal to enabled. Now let me go ahead and create the sample application within this specific namespace from the samples folder. kubectl apply dash dash namespace equal to with Istio and provide the path to the YAML file. So the sample applications would get created within this specific namespace. Let me go ahead and get all the pods available within the specific namespace. kubectl get pods dash dash namespace equal to with Istio. So all the pods should get created along with the sidecar. So somewhat similar to this. So every pod that is getting created will have the sidecar injected and the entire networking and the entire management will be done through the proxy that is envoy. So here we can see the difference. The two containers going to get created within each pod. The pods are in the initializing state. Let them get created. Few of the pods got created. Yes, everything is created. Now let me go ahead and list all the entities available as a part of with this new namespace. Yes, everything is created. Now I can go ahead and access the Kiali and check all these applications available or not. So I do have the namespace with this view. I can get into it. And there is a link show graph. Here's where the graph available. In case if I access that particular page, I will be in a position to see the relation, how the entities are connected and how the communication happens. For that, I can access that specific application using the kubectl exit command, or I can go ahead and configure the port to access the product page within that specific host name. Let me go ahead and list all the entities available as a part of with STL namespace. So these are all the entities, pods, services, deployment, and replica set. I'm interested in the product page so that I can access the product page and see how the entities are getting displayed as a part of Kiali. I'm going to copy the cluster IP address and the port is 9080. Already we configured the 9080 of localhost to the other namespace. Let me go ahead and do the changes. Get into the settings, connection, SSH, tunnel. Here already I have configured the port 9080 to the cluster IP available as a part of no STO namespace. Either I need to remove this or I need to go ahead and configure to a different port like 8080 or any other port which is available within my local host. Let me go ahead and remove this and uh, provide this new cluster IP to the port 9080. Let me go ahead and add it and apply. Don't forget to apply otherwise it's not going to work. Let me access the port 9080. So I do have the details. So I'm accessing this specific port. Now let me go ahead and access the Kiali web page. I do have the namespace with Istio. I can get into this specific applications. I can see what are all the applications deployed and how the workloads are distributed. What are all the versions available? So here's where the ratings I do have version 1 and for reviews I do have version 1, version 2 and version 3. So these are all the tags and labels attached to that specific container. The area I am very much interested is in this particular graph. 
So over here, these are all the services within this particular service that is reviews. I do have three versions. Minimum, you have to make one request to get this particular graph displayed. Let me go ahead and access that page a few times. So that n number of requests would get created and we can see various features are available as a part of Kiali. Now within display, I can go ahead and enable traffic animation where it is going to provide how the traffic is getting routed. Say for example, in this particular scenario, the traffic, how it is getting routed. So it's from the product page, it's getting into the details and then to reviews and from the review, it's getting into the ratings. In case if I wanted to get the request percentage, I can enable the request percentage and see the details, how the request percentage are distributed. Say for example, 50% of the request getting into version 3, 31.8% getting into version 2 and 18.2% getting into version 1. So these are all biggest advantage of Kiali where I can have the entire view of the application that got deployed and monitor various features available within the application. This is just a quick demo on how the UI of Kiali going to benefit us and we are going to use this specific tool to identify how the demo that we are doing as a part of Istio features are getting enabled within the application. We will have detailed discussion of each and every features while understanding the features available as a part of Istio. So in a quick summary, we had an overview of Kiali web page and uh, how the graph going to facilitate or benefit us to understand the features available within Istio.